Hi, it's Earth Computer, and today I want to show you how you get to choose your enchantments from an enchanting table. There are two ways of doing this. One is to use an external tool, which I don't recommend anymore because it is very error prone. And the other is to use a mod, and that's how I'm going to be showing you today. To use the mod, you need to install Fabric from the Fabric website here. Um, and then you need to download client commands from ModRinf and put it in your mods folder. Make sure to download the latest version, not an older version. When I say get the latest version of client commands, I mean get the very latest version, which is on the latest Minecraft version, not one that is on an older Minecraft version. If you need to play on an older server, even on a newer Minecraft version, I recommend using the Via Fabric Plus mod, which allows you to connect to an older Minecraft server with the newest client. And then you need to download Fabric API as well, and also put that in your mods folder. Alternatively to all of this, I do recommend using Prism Launcher rather than the vanilla launcher, where you can do all of this from within the launcher. Just don't forget to install client commands and Fabric API, which of course you can do from within Prism Launcher. Before you start, you need to make sure that the server that you're playing on is not running on paper. Quite often, server owners will claim that the server is running vanilla when it is actually running paper, so you need to be careful about this. Um, client commands will tell you if you are likely running on paper, um, so if you are playing on a paper server, unfortunately, you're out of luck. There is no way to do this, unless you have access to the server files, of course. Just a quick disclaimer as well, this doesn't work on versions prior to 1.8 and also doesn't work on Bedrock Edition. One thing that's kind of unusual about this process is that it is really sensitive to things that you do, which are not strictly in the instructions that I've kind of told you to do. Uh, it's really strict, um, so basically only follow the exact instructions that I'm telling you. A list of things that might catch some of you out, I think, are collecting XP. You are not allowed to collect XP, whether it be through an XP farm or through repairing an item through a grindstone or whatever. Uh, you're not allowed to eat at all. Uh, you are not allowed to sprint. Uh, you are not allowed to use a beacon or have any potion effect, but I think a beacon is most common. Um, you are not allowed to use an anvil. You're not allowed to log out or re-log. Uh, you are, of course, not allowed to throw items unless uh, the mod is throwing items for you. And you're not allowed to take damage. If you do have a beacon lying around, it's safe to just block it off like this and then you're fine. Um, and let me just list some things that you can do just in case you feel like you want to do them. Uh, you can walk as long as you're not sprinting. You can use the crafting table. You can craft items. You can uh, use containers like you can open and close chests and move items around like that. You can place blocks and you can break blocks as long as the tool that you are using to break the block does not have the unbreaking enchantment. First thing you need to do is crack your player RNG and to do this is very simple. Just run slash C crack RNG in the chat like this and it's done. If this does not work, then you are probably on a paper server and you're out of luck. Otherwise, you can move on to the next step. The next step is to prepare your levels and items. So for each enchantment that you make, you will normally need a dummy enchantment to go along with it. So make sure you have enough items um, that you can, that you don't care about, uh, that you can enchant, like this wooden sword I had here in the last enchantment in the intro. Make sure that you have enough lapis, etc., enough levels, because you can't actually pick up XP while you're doing this. Um, so yeah, be very careful. Make sure you have enough levels in advance. And make sure you have some torches to block off bookshelves with, and some enough items to throw out. Okay? Um, and then, uh, once you've decided what you want to enchant, I actually have not decided what I want to enchant. Let me get another uh, diamond pickaxe here. 
Then you run slash C enchant. Um, and if you don't want to throw out items straight away and just want to see how it works, you can just do dash S or dash dash simulate. Uh, and then the item that you're enchanting with, let's say we want efficiency four with unbreaking three and with silk touch like we did before. And you can see that it's going to need to throw 72 items and it says it will take about 3.6 seconds to do that. And I don't know about you, but I'm perfectly happy waiting 3.6 seconds. So we can just remove the dash S and then it will throw the items. Okay, and then it's you see it's telling us to do a dummy enchantment. That means that we take our item that we don't care about and we can enchant it any, it doesn't matter how many levels we use, we can just, just do that. Okay. And then we need 12 bookshelves. There we go. Uh, you can see the bookshelf count here is 12 and it needs to be in slot three, which is this one. Okay, and you can see already what we're going to get. And here is our pickaxe. Bookshelf blocking is very important. If you enchant with 13 bookshelves available, when um, it tells you to have 12 bookshelves, then you can very easily get the wrong enchantments. Make sure that the bookshelf count here matches the bookshelf count that it told you to, um, to get in chat. In Minecraft 1.18.1 or above, placing a torch in this bookshelf configuration on the side like this will block these three bookshelves. So this blocks three bookshelves. Placing it in the corner will block just this corner bookshelf. All right. So this blocks one. And of course, this is one. This is three. This is one. This is three. This is one. And then, of course, placing this one will block these two because we don't have a bookshelf in the middle here. If you are playing 1.18.0 or earlier, then it's actually the other way around. And this corner torch here blocks these three bookshelves in the corner. This one on the edge just blocks just this bookshelf. And this is three, this is one, this is three, this is one, this is three. And this one doesn't block anything because there's nothing here, all right? Additionally, Prior to 1.20, you had to be careful about there being things like tall grass in the way of the bookshelves. Prior to 1.20, only you could only have air in between the enchantment table and the bookshelves, nothing else, no, no tall grass. So you had to be careful to get rid of all the tall grass. Since 1.20, it's a little bit less strict, um, but I would still get rid of stuff just to be safe. There are a few config options relative to enchantment cracking, so let me go through them now. You can change them with slash C config client commands. And here they are. So item throws per tick is the first one that I'm gonna go through. Uh, set, so by default it's one item throw per tick. You can increase it uh, to say five. And this affects how many item throws per tick per game tick that C crack RNG and also C enchant will throw. So let's just run a C crack RNG now and you'll see that it's much quicker than it was before. You can also set this to a fractional value uh, to decrease the rate at which items are thrown like this. You can see now it's much slower. There is also max and min enchant bookshelves. Uh, this controls how many bookshelves uh, you have available to enchant, basically. Uh, so if you only have 12 bookshelves in your setup, then like it won't tell you to use any more than that. Uh, but obviously beware that sometimes enchants are impossible with lower bookshelf counts, of course. We've got the number of levels that you have available to enchant. So if you don't have 56 levels like I have right now, let's say you've only got um, 27 levels, right? You can set max enchant levels to, um, well, say 26 plus one for the dummy enchant. 
This will then take into account the maximum number of levels you have to enchant and won't suggest any enchantments that take any more levels than that. And then finally, there is max enchant item throws, which limits the number of item throws that C enchant can throw. It's basically the search depth for it. If you set this too high, then it will end up just searching for a really long time, even if it's impossible. Uh, so I think the default is a sensible limit, but you can of course increase it if you want to.